Number 14 is to come forward, okay? To come forward. Usually when somebody comes forward, it's usually to help, yeah? So police investigations, they often ask the public to come forward with any information they have that might help their investigation. So if there's been an accident on the road or some problem, they might ask other motorists to come forward with some of these webcam uh, photos that they might have had or dash cams that they've had on the dashboard of their car to come forward with the information. Or somebody came forward with some very helpful information at the last meeting that was we were able to explain the situation quite easily. So when somebody comes forward, it's usually to offer help or to provide some information. Come forward. Number 15, come into. If you come in to something, it means you gain something, a sum of money, a property, stocks and shares. So often when we say somebody has come into something, it means that they have inherited something in a will from a, an aunt, an uncle, a grandmother, a godmother or a mother and father. So when somebody dies, they usually have a will and in the will, they will organize their estate, their assets and decide who gets what. So if you come into a little sum of money, then you've inherited something from that re relation or uh, friend in when they have died, okay? So you get a letter in the post, you don't recognize the writing, but it's from a legal firm and you turn to your partner and say, wow, you never guess what, I've come into a little bit of money. What, what do you mean? Well, my old uncle Albert, you know, the guy I mentioned, he died and uh, he left me 2,000 euro. Ooh, that's really, really generous. So we can get that extension done. Yeah? So to come into a bit of money, come into a fortune, come into a small fortune, some form of an inheritance. Number 16, come on with. Okay, to come on with means to develop or to progress. He's coming on well with his English. So if you've been taking English lessons and if you're making some improvement or your teacher tells you that you're improving well with those verbs and adjectives or you're improving well with your conversational skills but you need to focus a little bit on this, then you you have come on well with your progress. You've come on well with your English progress. You've come on well with whatever you are studying. So to come on with means to develop or to improve or to progress. So you go to the school to talk to the teacher and the teacher says, yeah, he's coming on well with everything. Most of the subjects are really, really good. He just has to be a little bit more attentive in class to come on well with something. So on to number 17. Number 17 is to come off. Now this can be just a very simple explanation. Come off means when something falls off or breaks off, okay? So if you're trying to open the door and you pull the door handle a little bit too firmly, it might come off in your hand. Oh my God, how am I going to get out of this room? The door handle has come off. So you, in a panic, you send a text to somebody, come and rescue me, the door handle has come off in my hand as I try to open the door. Or you try to open the window and the handle of the window comes off. Or sometimes you're trying to open the window in the car, the old fashioned cars, you had one of these roll up handles and they often in the old cars would come off in your hand. So when something comes off, it breaks off or it falls off. So the, the handle came off in my hand or the top of the kettle came off in my hand when I was trying to fill the kettle to make a cup of tea. So usually some accident happens that means that something just falls apart. Probably it's broken or a screw dropped out or it's just old. Come off. Number 18, to come out with, to come out with. Usually this refers to somebody's speech when they say something unexpected or something that somebody might not like, okay? He just came out with this accusation. I was sitting there and all of a sudden he accused me of taking his mobile phone. I hadn't taken his mobile phone. I didn't even see it there. So he just came out with this. Or perhaps when you're looking after your kids, maybe you're looking after your 
niece or nephew and they start using their first words. Wow, it was so funny. He just came out with my name. I wasn't expecting him to call me Mike. Yeah, and he just came out, Mike, Mike. Yeah, so to come out with something means unexpectedly, suddenly, something that you heard, either positively, like the first words of a child, or something negative when somebody comes out with some accusation or something quite ridiculous, yes, to come out with. Number 19, come over. Well, we had before come round, and come over is very similar, yeah? So you, you might be on the mobile phone or texting your friend, why don't you come over for dinner next week and we'll have a good chat we haven't had a sit down and caught up with each other for such a long time so why don't you come over bring your partner bring your other half or your better half whatever way you express it but why don't you come over let's say thursday or friday of next week there's a holiday weekend so it'll be a good time to catch up so to come over means to visit somebody okay so it's usually by invitation somebody asking you to come over or you can ask somebody else do you want me to come over and help you fix that handle on the door? Do you want me to come over and help you to paint the room? Do you want me to come over and help you shovel the snow off your driveway if you can't get the car out? So all of those sort of things would be offers of help where you, and assistance where you will offer to go and help your, your friend or family member with some issue that they have. So to, to come over. Yeah. Okay. So. Next, to come over to. Now, here is one of those three-part verbs that is very, very different than the previous one. The previous one, number 19, we had come over, means to, to visit. Now we have come over to, nothing to do with visiting. So when somebody comes over to, it means they change their position, change their mind, change their opinion, change their support, okay? So if you have a particular point of view, you're making some argument, and then a friend says, yeah, I think you're actually right. So they come over to your side, meaning they now begin to support your side of the argument. And you look around the room and ask, is there anybody else willing to come over to my side? Somebody willing to support me because I really think I'm right in this particular situation. So when somebody comes over to someone or comes over to something, it's all about changing their position or their opinion or their support for somebody or something, okay? So when the government is putting forward some proposals, some suggestions, then they may be looking for some support from members of the opposition in government and they're hoping for them to come over to their side of the house or the chamber or the, the government rooms to support them in their initiative. A husband and wife who have an argument, over. it means don't okay, take so sides. So changing if two opinion, best friends who are married views, are having a bit sides. of a fight Number or an 20, argument, one, best to sit two, out, not to take sides, through. because you're going to okay. end up Still in the bad through. place. Yeah, you're going to end up on the naughty step because you'll different have different sided with him is or her and the other person is going to be very upset. Problem. So never okay. come so he has between come a very two people who are life. having an argument. Perhaps he had lost indeed, a couple of jobs. if you've got a pet dog, never come between your dog and his bowl of food because he might be nice and friendly when you're playing with him, but if you don't let him get his food, he might become a little bit angry well and aggressive so don't come between the dog to pay off and his, his daily and meal okay so to get in the middle or to stop again. or prevent so somebody really from getting something that okay to come so between to, to and number 10 or to come by something from so we ask a question how did you come by that life. to come by you means come how did you get it operation. Okay, Where so did you, you get go it into from? hospital so or some you're again, type you're of showing operation, your friend this beautiful and the doctor necklace says, well, that you have, look, or he's this been heavily sedated that you bought, or this seven or eight beautiful hours, gold or silver ring through in an hour. So I mean, really will he become beautiful. awake? How did you he come by that? Meaning, completely how did you awake? get it? But well, I was in that market, or I was in that very, car, very which sale that you'll come I went to last Saturday or Sunday, and you weren't available. And there's some really interesting things, but this just quite quickly, you're really enjoying those, and I'm not sure how much. 
those really work. Just finish number 21, so now we're moving on to number 22. So so how did you go? Number 22 means to come together. And that can be a very simple situation. To come together is to meet up. So we're coming together next week to discuss these plans. So somebody's organized a meeting, and we're going to come together. We'll come together as a phrasal verb, and we'll share the verb views or opinions. So number 11 is to come down together. Come down together. Come down okay, so on. that and means this is all about people meeting with each other come down to discuss when something when somebody gets interest, punished or could be even just okay, to celebrate so a birthday court, or a wedding, the or whatever it might be. In the court, okay. Now, come, come down together can also be used when those people things work out when ah, drug great, trafficking everything has people come together at last. Or indeed, they may all come the down on fit those people involved we've got the antisocial behaviour, like drinking in the streets or drinking in the parks or annoying the elderly, so to come down on somebody we've got means to criticise heavily it is all to punish heavily come for together. something we really that they put have in a lot That's of number work, 11 to but come at last down it's there. On. So when number 12 is another comes together, three part it's verb, all okay, fitting the way you want down everything going to, so very according different to meaning path. come okay, down so to come two. together so when we use number come down three it means come it, it under. ends up now, that way eventually so to come under when we talk about arguments pressure government is trying to get you to do something somebody's trying to get you why they're doing this why so they're building that, why are they changing laws? Somebody from might say, well, look, to it all drop out comes down to money in the end. Really so it doesn't mean really money is the root he of all likes it, but it comes down to money so in the end. Under pressure. You could be negotiating to with your dropout for an increase in some course. payment or, or you to get could some come under bonuses for the staff on your team, whatever it might be. Local and council, your boss say, well, they want you to good conditions here. They will give you free food in the canteen. You might not want to lose all these other extra garden Yeah, that's fine, but it all comes down to money in the end. These guys want extra money in their pocket because they've got to pay every extra grocery expenses because of inflation, whatever it might be. But it all comes down to get to money to in change the your end, mind, meaning change finally, your whatever you do, you decide whatever you, you think at the end of the day, governments it's a question come of under pressure from from down the people who have voted for something. Them. So okay. they come into power on the basis that they're going to change this, change that, and do this, and do that, to and they come never get down done. with so again another people start three complaining, they start phrasing or appearing, they come down start with writing some letters to Usually newspapers, we use this posting and somebody articles on the internet. So to come so down with this flu means to be situation with the flu to come, come down with a under pressure means to have all a bad interested tooth parties come and down with a sore that back into account means and you have a sore back, back so we can't it make it into the office so and you have to send a under, text usually or come under an email to somebody Number I'm really sorry can't make it today and I've come down up, with it usually poisoning. arises some chicken yesterday without notice it wasn't without I've come down with the flu over the weekend I'm not going to be able to make it into work on Monday I've come down with a terrible lunch, headache and perhaps I'm going to have, have, have to go to the doctor whatever it might try be to get the last to get into the something the happy lunch so we so come down friend, with we something send an email to fall make her apologies to the boss and say to the headache sorry, stomach ache can we whatever it might be to come down with put back that lunch can I make the meeting at another time because something urgent has come up so when something comes up it arises quite suddenly unexpectedly and you have to change your plans something can come up at the last minute so you often use it in an expression like that something came up at the last minute and i'm really sorry i couldn't make the party i couldn't even call you because i didn't have my mobile phone everything happened so quickly now again we have another three part phrasal verb and this is come up against so the last one was come up so something arises come up against totally different meaning so you can come up against problems, you can come up against some protest, you can come up against some opposition, something that's going to block you, okay? So if you're trying to get elected to your local council because you feel you want to participate and you can contribute to local politics, but you come up against a brick wall when you're trying to get nominated, the rules say that you have to be nominated by 20 existing council members and you've only got five or six that even know you or are willing to support you. So you come up against some opposition, okay? Or you're trying to get promoted in the office 
and you come up against some stubborn resistance by your boss who's trying to tell you why he doesn't think it's a good idea because he really doesn't want to lose you because if you get promoted you're going to go to another division and he's not so happy about it so you come up against some resistance in the shape of your boss who doesn't really want to support your push for a promotion. So when you come up against something, you get some resistance. There is opposition to what you want to say or opposition to what you want to do. Come, come up against.